burn excess glucose, lower a glucose spike, stabilize blood sugar, and improve insulin sensitivity all in 10 minutes? That's right. Get ready to lower your blood sugar quickly with this 10 minute low impact routine. I'm Caroline Jordan, your certified health and fitness coach. And this video is what I call a micro workout full of compound movements guaranteed to get you the best results in a short amount of time. Research has shown that circuit training increases our insulin sensitivity. And I've designed this video to combine resistance and cardio exercises together in a way that keeps your heart rate up and improves your health. We have 10 exercises to move through together, performed for 60 seconds each, sequenced together back to back. Once we start, there's no stopping. So please feel free to take breaks when needed to meet yourself where you're at today. Every time you practice this video, you will get stronger because practice makes progress and I'm cheering for you every step of the way. Fit this video into your day whenever you need to lower your blood sugar and keep your health in check. Today, I'm using a NutriSense CGM to monitor my blood glucose levels before, during, and after my workout. NutriSense is bringing continuous glucose monitors, aka CGMs, to the masses. That's right, CGMs are no longer just for diabetic patients, and that's in large part due to our shifting understanding of metabolic health and its root cause in several chronic diseases. Using a CGM can help you improve glucose levels, understand your response to food and to training, and make informed, healthy lifestyle changes. Do you already use a CGM to keep your metabolic health in good shape? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't already use one, you can get a discount with my code CJFITSquad at the link below. All right, my friend, are you ready to get moving? We have 10 minutes together. Let's get started. Using the NutriSense app, I'm going to scan my sensor so that I can get an idea of my blood glucose levels before, during, and after this video. I'll share all of my insights with you on the screen. That way, if you get a CGM, you can test yourself and see how this exercise video impacts your blood glucose. With all that being said, meet me in a march and let's get ready to lower your blood sugar in 10 minutes. We have 10 exercises to do together. Our first one is a high knee march. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling, and when you're ready, we're going to pull one knee in towards your chest and switch. I love a high knee march because it's great low impact cardio, and I feel a little bit of bootylicious butt work going on. It's a great way to activate those glutes while you train your heart. Remember to move at a speed that feels comfortably challenging. I want you getting your heart rate up and breaking a little bit of a sweat. That means you're alive and this exercise is having positive benefits. Good job, my friend. Make sure to squeeze your core muscles and also activate those smiling muscles because positive energy really helps you have a great workout. <laughs> That's it, great job. Can you go a little faster with good form? Oh, I see you going. Proud of you. Butt kick bicep. You're going to kick one heel to your glute and alternate as you give me a great little bicep curl. Squeeze those muscles. Make them work for you. Remember, the mind-muscle connection matters. If you think about engaging more muscle fibers, you will and you'll get more results from every single step. Excellent. I want you to think of one thing you're working for right now, whether it's your family or you want to go travel and having better health allows you to do so. Think of your goal. Tell me in the comments below. You got it. Squeeze those muscles. Whew. Heart rate should be getting up there. Next move, we've got a squat with a twist. So when you're ready, we're going to squat down, touch the ground, come up and twist. Go as low as you feel is comfortable and appropriate for you. 
You don't need to do what anyone else is doing. You need to do what you need to be doing to feel good. Which is why personalization and customization of knowing what health habits help you feel your best is really everything. What foods help you feel best? What exercises help you feel best? What squat depth helps you feel best? So find that and stick to it. So you can go little squat or big squat. I'm a middle squat today. I like the middle squat. <laughs> All about that middle squat right now. Whew. This is tough. I like it. I feel alive. Next move, you've got a half burpee. You're going to squat down, place your hands on the ground, step back, step in, stand up, raise the roof. Do it again. Now, every time you practice this video, I want you to try to get one more rep than you did the time before. So if today you do eight reps in 60 seconds, next time you practice this routine, go for nine. Small changes make a big difference difference. You don't have to do extremes to see health benefits. You can do 10 minutes a day and see positive results. And then before you know it, 10 minutes becomes 15 and 15 becomes 20 and you start feeling better. You start living better and you start sharing that with the world around you. And isn't that the goal? Whew, how many burpees are you getting? I don't know. I lost count Caroline. Yowza! Half lunge arm raise. So come on up. You're gonna lunge as you raise the arms out to the side, bring it together and switch. Make sure you keep your knees behind your toes and stand up tall like the king or queen you are. Keep breathing. Remember, when you put your mind to something, you can do it. You gotta stay positive and believe in yourself and keep practicing until you do. Sometimes you just gotta keep putting one foot in front of the other and doing so helps you build self-confidence and self-belief and then before you know it, hard things become easier to accomplish. Whew. Nice work, I'm right here with you. You're doing great. A little lower in that lunge. Yeah! Whoo, I see you sweating, making things happen. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's work those hips. We're gonna reach our arms up to the sky as we raise one leg out. I want you to go a little low in your legs so you're in kind of a chair pose squat. And when you take the leg out to the side, you should be feeling your hips and thighs. Your heart rate's up, which is great. I'm all about training that cardiovascular fitness. I guarantee you, you go to your doctor for your regular checkup after doing this video or some of my other routines consistently, and they're like, wow, what have you been doing? Your health metrics are really improving. And you're like, I'm just doing sustainable low impact fitness. I'm not doing anything extreme. I'm just moving my body, eating foods that nourish me, and making healthy lifestyle changes that last. Whew. Yeah, I'm all about that sustainable lifestyle change, man. Let's do it. Reach your arms, you got it. Whoo! Push up, here we go. You're gonna be on your knees or on your toes. You're gonna lower all the way down to the mat. Lift your hands, put your hands back down, press up. Knee option is right here. If you wanna do a wall option, I'm cheering for you. And again, you've 60 seconds, so pace yourself because, you know, it's a 60 seconds is a long time when you're doing a push up. <laughs> it's a long time. Keep your abs tight. And if you need to rest for a moment, rest. There is no shame in the modification game, my friend. Again, every time you show up for yourself and you move your body, you get stronger, not just physically, but mentally too. Remember, you're lifting the hands at the bottom. Squeeze your back muscles when you do that so that we're not just working your chest and shoulders, we're also working your back. Oh, and your abs, because as you know, push-ups are a great ab exercise. Well, flip over onto your butt. We've got a tabletop butt tricep squeeze. 
You're going to squeeze your butt, lift yourself into a tabletop position. From here, you can stay here and ISO hold, or you can bend and straighten the arms. And this should burn in the backs of your arms. If you're new and you want to try something different, place your butt down and just give me triceps like this. So many ways to move your body. Find one, make it work. Whew. Okay. So this was a lot harder than I thought. I'm loving it. We're going to have show stopping arms over here. You go to a dinner party, you're carrying a dish to the table. <laughs> People are like, wow, have you been working out? You're like, yes, I do 10 minutes a day, baby. <laughs> Check it out now. Woo! The burn is so real. We're laying on our back in our next exercise. You're almost there. Lay on down. You're going to take your hands behind your head. Give me one bridge and one crunch. Bridge and crunch. I love this combo. Combines everything that really works your core. You've got glutes and hamstrings. You've got abs. You've got smiling because we're making positive changes right now. I'm all for it. Woo! How we doing? I hope you're saying, Caroline, I'm doing great. I'm so proud of myself for being here. I could be watching this video, but instead I'm doing it with you. <laughs> and that is progress. Woo! All right. Keep it up. <laughs> oh, I love it. Abs and butt. Last move. Here we go. Meet me in a plank position. On your toes or on your knees, choose an option. From here, you're going to lower into a forearm plank. Then you're going to lift to a tall plank. These are called plank up downs. Down, down, up, and up. I have so many Patreons asking me for more arm workouts. And so, you're welcome. Here you go. You want great arms? Do plank up downs. It is tough. If you want, you can drop to your knees. You can always go slower. Or you have the luxury of the pause button. <laughs> you can pause it, take a break, and come back when you're ready. All right, plank up downs. Keep it going. Toes or knees. This is it. Home stretch. Whoo! Oh man. <laughs> wow. We got it. Finishing together. And done. That, my friend, is what you call a 10-minute lower your blood sugar effective routine. Now, I want to hear from you. How did you do? What were your numbers? I'm going to check out my NutriSense numbers and see the impacts of this effective low-impact exercise. And I can't wait to share it with you. My friend, I'm so proud of you for taking positive steps forward to improve your health and I'm always cheering for you. Leave me a comment below and make sure if you like this video to hit the thumbs up. And thanks NutriSense for helping me keep my blood glucose in check.